Hey guys, Stephen here, and welcome to my Redstone Logic world, a place where you can find each and every Redstone Logic gate, a number of different designs for each gate, um, their associated truth tables, and a practical example to show how you can use a gate. Um, today though, we're going to be looking at the AND gate. Um, it's a downloadable map, this one. It's great for both beginners and experienced Redstoners. For beginners, it's great to watch through this video, understand the logic, and learn how to use a specific gate. Whilst for experienced redstoners, it's great to just keep it in your maps folder, just if you need to make reference to anything in the future for gates, it's right there for you to look at. Um, and yeah, we'll get started on what an AND gate is, just by building it first. It's shown here, but I've left room for you to build it on the side. So basically all we need is three blocks, as shown like that, um, three redstone torches, place them in these positions like that and make sure you don't forget to place a piece of wire in the middle like so then we just have outputs and these are our inputs and we can see that clearly with that gate just behind it it's built exactly the same the blue wool is the inputs and the green wool is the output so now that we've built it what does an AND gate do? an AND gate it basically follows this truth table as shown here a truth table it shows us if we have specific inputs, as shown here, we'll get a specific output. Now the black wool represents if the wire is off. It, that can also be referred to as a low or a logic level zero. Um, and similarly the red wool, it's the opposite where it's if the wire is on. And that can be referred to as a high or a logic level one. So now that we've got that out of the way, basically we can see here, this is the AND gate truth table we only have a high output provided each and every input is at a high and we'll just quickly go through that with this gate here just to show you how it works so all inputs are off we've got a low output we'll flick this one on output's still low we'll put this one on the output's still low but now that we put each and every input at a high the output's at a high um, this makes it great to use for simple combination locks, um, control mechanisms. There's a lot of stuff you can do with AND gates. It's really useful. But before I show you the practical example, I'll just show you if you get in a situation where you want to have three inputs that are high, and then you want a high output, all you have to do, because this gate does not take three inputs, you have to get the output from this gate and feed it like so. I'm not sure if the signal reaches that far. And feed it as an input. So we're feeding the output from this AND gate as an input to this AND gate. And then, this is the output that we would use. And it will only be at a high if each input's at a high. So it still follows the truth table exactly. And we can see that turns it on. But if I break that, it goes off. Um, there's a number of different designs. I won't go through each of them. The, vertical designs for an AND gate. They still follow the exact same truth table. This one uses a piston. I'll show it like that. And this one doesn't. So depending on your preference, what you like. Um, and yeah, with that all done, we'll now just go through the practical example. Alright, so a way that you can use an AND gate is as a control s mechanism. So you can turn a system on or off just by using an AND gate. It's really easily done. I've just hooked it to a siren system. I've made a video on this in the past. I'll chuck up a link to it. Um, but you can use this for heaps of things. You can make it for intruders, as I've done it here. Um, but you can make it for an automatic farm using buzz switches. It's insane. It's really good. So basically, I'm an intruder at the moment, but the system's off, so we don't get a noise. I'll flick the system on. And now we get the noise. The person walks off. I'll stop. Back on. Start a gun. And turn it off and I'll stop. So that's how it works, it's really easy. Um, I'll show you how it's built. Basically you just and the inputs as we've done. Um, this repeater, repeater sorry, set to 3, that's set to 4. Ticks, um, this just creates a pulse which is fed into here and it's just a little clock using note blocks. It's really easy but yeah, it works well. Um, yeah, that's everything to this AND gate tutorial. Hopefully you've learned something. If you have learned something, be sure to subscribe because I'm going to be making a tutorials for each logic gate, um, each with a practical example shown. 
And yeah, have a good one.